At what point do you consider yourself a PHP developer, a Laravel developer, React developer, Python developer, etc.? Blank developer. When can you call yourself that? Let's talk about it, right? This video is actually inspired by a tweet that my homie did, Dorian Develops, right? Some of you guys know him from here from YouTube. Definitely go follow him on Twitter, right? He's on a path of going deep into Laravel, right? I'm super excited because this is something that I've been telling people for a long time. Laravel is the shit, right? It's one of the best frameworks if you really want to build things fairly quickly. And he asks, at what point am I allowed to officially call myself a Laravel developer? And again, a lot of people ask themselves this question, like, am I really ready? Can I really call myself this, right? And to be honest with you guys, you can call yourself whatever you want. <laughs> you can say, hey, I'm a Teletubby framework developer. I'm a React developer. I'm a Laravel developer. No one can stop you. You can call yourself that at any moment, right? For me, I have a requirement for me to call myself a XY developer right and i mentioned this on the comment section for this tweet and basically says everyone has their own requirements this when i feel comfortable calling myself a blank developer and it usually comes down to when i have gotten paid for a project and when i have launched an app to the public and they're using it right so it could be either one it doesn't have to be both right till then i consider myself a hobbyist right so for example like i've played around with c sharp when i use unity i don't call myself a c sharp developer right because i've never really built anything in the public i've never gotten anything outside right i'm more of a hobbyist right i'm still even to this day still learning a lot of things from c sharp and you know unity uh thing for Goldot, right? I don't consider myself a game developer, even though I've made plenty of games at home, my own little environment here, right? But I give respect to those guys that are, you know, in the field that are actually creating games, launching games. Those are game developers. I'm not a game developer yet, right? But again, you have things like in web development, sometimes we learn a skill, right? And I see a lot of people that do this, like, quickly they go watch a tutorial let's say a netflix clone were reacting automatically yeah like, i watched the video i follow some guy on the internet now i'm a react developer me personally i don't do that not that i don't respect it you could do whatever the hell you want but i also understand that guess what like you still haven't built anything you still haven't done anything you got to release something you have to put something out there right till then you still a hobbyist just like i am a hobbyist of a game developer again you know my own requirements there's people that just be like hey man just call yourself whatever you want right do whatever the hell you want and that's the truth you could do whatever the hell you want but uh to me i feel like i can only do that once i actually have built a real project it doesn't have to be something that is huge that a lot of people have used or you know i've gotten paid out a lot of money it's i need to build something of my own and then launch it that way i know for sure that i actually know this technology this framework this language and then once i get it out there and it's actually in production then from there i'll go in and consider myself a php developer or a ruby and rails developer till then i'm still just like a hobbyist right but it, again this is a really good topic because it does also come into the world of you know imposter syndrome right sometimes we might know something right and, and we're like ready at the same time we're like i don't know if i really know this thing i don't know how when can i really call myself this you know uh, can i really apply to these jobs can i really go to these interviews are they gonna take me serious right so yes we all have this imposter syndrome right so this is why i recommend people to just don't focus so much on that question to yourself what you want to really focus on is releasing something with it even if it's a, a, a simple website that no one goes to see it maybe two three people see it they use it right it doesn't matter but at least you gotta launch something that you created and then from there i believe you can say hey man i'm confident enough that i can call myself this language developer or this blank developer whatever it might be so you know a little quick tip right again this is my own requirements that i put on myself there's people that go in and and they be like well i'm not a xyz developer till i have three five years there's people that put that pressure on themselves 
I don't do that. I'm like, guy, <laughs> if I'm making money with it or I launched it and people are seeing it and using it, that's it. I'm calling myself that. <laughs> it is what it is, right? So again, guys, shout out to Dorian Develops for this great tweet that really, you know, helped me out uh, to create this content. And yeah, let me know below what are your requirements to say, okay, require yourself to have, right? Or what do you respect? from other developers, right? This might be controversial. When do you respect another developer to actually call himself that? Again, it doesn't matter what other people think, but I wanna know in the comment section, are you looking at people sideways? They're like, yo, bro, you did two projects, you got two projects on GitHub, you can't really call yourself that, right? So I wonder what you guys think on this topic. Shout out to Dorian Develops for, again, for the great tweet. And yeah, man, let me know in the comment section. By the way, guys, if you're still learning how to code, if you're still struggling around here, you know, first job, guys, go check out codingphase.com. This is what we do here, man, okay? Actually help people get into the tech industry by teaching you, you know, skills that platforms don't focus on. Things like content management, web administration, right? A uh, web producer, right? Things like Shopify development, things like PHP Laravel, right? Things like, email development come check it out right we have a lot of good results for a lot of students all you have to do is put in the work and follow what we give you we give you access to the tech accelerator program pretty much everything that we offer on this platform is around ten thousand dollars worth okay again you can come to codingphase.com become a diamond member get access to everything you want it's a subscription right but at the end of the day there's no long-term commitment you just come in if you like it if you don't like it you get a full refund and if you like it shoot continue using it guess what a lot of people are getting results shout out to all the students yesterday on the accountability meeting we do those meetings every single monday to make sure you have the right portfolio right projects etc like your full coaching in this whole process plus all the courses and you know i'm looking for jobs for you i'm giving you the interview questions you know portfolios a lot of cool things that we do on this platform right for all of our students and, and again shout out to the students that came to the accountability meeting yesterday a couple of them already got hired a couple of them already got some part-time gigs to get them started in their journey and yeah man congratulations to all of them okay i'll see you guys later it's your boy joe back at it again codingface.com